Recently, I was reintroduced to the OWN Network's Masterclass with Maya Angelou. In a segment titled Just Do Right, Dr. Angelou described how doing what's right may not be expedient, but it will satisfy your soul. It occurred to me that there's a lot of synergy in what she said and a company's commitment to fulfilling its brand promise. All that a company says it is, and how its values are experienced by customers, clients, and employees, define its brand promise. Now, by design, a brand promise establishes expectations. And because no organization builds its vision statement on being mediocre, those expectations can be set pretty high. There's nothing wrong with that, just as long as you're prepared to back them up. It's reasonable for target audiences to expect your company to deliver on what it says it stands for. In fact, consistently communicating your brand promise can enhance your bottom line. A study reported in Forbes magazine involving more than 400 organizations found that consistent presentation of a brand, including its key messages across all platforms, increased revenue by up to 23%. When an organization takes the next step of translating its values into action, it not only strengthens relationships and consumer loyalty, it also boosts financial performance. An Accenture study of more than 1,500 companies found that the leading 20% were more than twice as likely than their peers to say they had established and managed a brand promise that connects directly to customer experiences. Doing right by your brand promise isn't always easy, and when it requires correcting a wrong, doing the right thing can also be expensive. In that case, you can find yourself working to build back your bottom line as well as trust, both very challenging tasks. So how do you do right by your brand promise while ensuring its authenticity? Number one, communicate your values. Let your intentions be known. Values are important distinguishers of your company from its competition. Just be sure they're clearly and effectively defined so that they make an impression. For instance, how is the value of respect uniquely characterized by your organization? Unless your answer is compelling and relevant to what you do, it's just dull wallpaper that doesn't get noticed. Number two. Educate employees on the critical role they play in translating the organization's values into action. To do that requires training and providing the communication tools needed for delivering a values-driven experience. By the way, if you expect employees to enact your brand's definition of, for instance, respect, it better be a value they too genuinely experience. And number three, monitor for inconsistencies to ensure authenticity. This may be the most important point of all. Are the values captured in who your company says it is what your key audiences actually experience? If not, you risk a betrayal of trust that is costly, difficult to regain, and directly impacts your success. I sometimes use the analogy of when instead of depositing $50, you enter it as a deduction and you have to add it back twice before you get to where you want it to be. Where might your organization be vulnerable for inconsistencies in how its values messaging is experienced? To cite another Dr. Angelou quote, people may not remember exactly what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. So take her masterclass advice, satisfy your soul, and do right by your brand promise. I'm Kelly Newman, and this has been A Minute with Messaging. If you found this podcast helpful, I encourage you to subscribe on your favorite platform so you don't miss an episode. And to learn how your organization can benefit from Newman & Newman's marketing communication strategies, visit our website at newmanandnewmaninc.com.